Hello? Hi everyone. Is everything working? Things have changed yet again. Things have changed around. Hopefully. Everything is all activated and in good working order. Things are bouncing over here. So I'm going to assume that everything is working. And remember to set the start just after this timestamp. So it all looks professional and like, oh, you didn't even ask, need to ask if everything's okay. Probably should always do that. I've made that bar at the bottom a little bit smaller so we can fit more game in. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Isle of Cats. This is a game that I covered. When was it on Kickstarter? 2019? I did it ages ago. Uh, but I'd never had a final copy. And I think it came out in 2020, right? And... I've, I've never done a video on it, so when I finally do my eventual update to the 2020 video, this needs to be in consideration, right? So we have to get playing it. We've got cats to rescue. They're on this island. There's a big bad guy coming after them. We need to get them on the boats and rescued as much as possible. Is that... Uh... Hi, everyone, by the way. Hi, Genway. It's a bit on the bright side. On the game or on me? I noticed today, as I'm messing about, my monitors are complete. Are showing me completely different colours, which doesn't help, does it? Hi, Mikhail. On the game, I can sort that out. Is uh, is Streamlabs making the brightness go up? I think it is. that better I think the brightness was set high and it didn't need to be is that a bit nicer I need to sort out the settings of all this stuff because I realized I've done it on a monitor that might not be showing you the proper that might not be showing me the proper colors but anyway experiments continue into making all of these live streams look nice there's an actual camera pointing at me now rather than a webcam so hopefully that's all much nicer and I cannot remember a time when I've ever worn a yellow shirt. Anyway, regardless, let's rescue some cats. So I think, as well, that this should be pretty clear, right? Like, I've still got stuff to zoom in on. But from what I was looking at earlier, you can pretty much see all of this text from where it is right now. Maybe not if you're watching on mobile or something. But I will zoom in where I can. So if you've never played the game before... I will be going through what I'm doing. I will hopefully remember everything right. Hexybeast has reviewed the solo of this on his channel already. Check that out and you can point out where I'm going wrong in this because I'm sure at this point, this is where all of the rules for a game fall out of my head. Marty is, uh, is indifferent, if anything, I imagine. There he is. You can see the box a little bit. Of course, loves being moved around to fit in the Marty Cam better. Hi, Steve. Oh, I've done. Um, I'm in an. I'm in an early Seattle stream, right? Is it like eight a.m.? I think. I think an ideal. An ideal West Coast time would be like smack dab in the middle of dinner time at some point. But hi, Steve. Steve, if you haven't heard me say before, is the... Yeah, reaching for buttons everywhere. Uh, Steve is the Goofmeister General of all of the pre-recorded videos responsible for pretty much, I think by this point, 99% of all of the Klingon subtitles in the videos. 7am. <sighs> that was up at 7 this morning. I think of that as shocking, because I, I used to love, and I still probably would, given the choice. Just stay up really, really late and get up quite late as well. But I've been trying to make myself get up earlier. I get up just before seven and go for a walk. I don't enjoy it. I'm not a morning person. I don't like walking. I like uh, being sedentary, but... Whew. Lockdowns, eh? They're not... <laughs> they're not good for your... for your health. So. Where are we? Hi, everyone. I hope you're ready to help me rescue some cats. So I've done most of the setup already, I believe. So this is all of my stuff. 
Uh, we can see here we've got the special cats, the Oshka cats. I don't want to forget any of the proper names. We've got some of the basic treasure. We've got the enormous discovery deck. There's like 150 cards in this. And then there are expansions available that uh, will take it even further. Uh, we've got some permanent baskets in there. We do start off with one. We start off with a random boat as well uh, that we are going to hope to fill with as many cats. He slept just in time for this stream. That's perfect. But uh, yeah, last last year has been strange for the for the sense of time. Like I've still I've still had a little bit less now, but more while the while the main first lockdown was on in the UK. I was still working most of the time, so it uh, yeah it was it was still like the the this is just the the normal schedule business as usual except it's just empty and spooky everywhere. But yeah, more and more now, it's like the days just meld into one, don't they? All the shops are open now. I went into town the other day. It was all right. Town was never that great to begin with, was it? So yes, my sister is going to be ready to take credit for everything. If we go to the other side here, this... Oh dear, is, that, is there an effect happening on the camera there? Or is that just on my screen? Uh, this is my sister who is going to be, no, you can't see it when it's all big, uh, is going to be taking credit for my brilliant rescue, basically. She's going to be getting points at the end of the game for every cat I've got on my ship, based on how these colours have come out. We can see at the start of the game, she's going to get five points for every blue cat I take. So I don't want to take blue cats straight away, really, unless I have to. There are reasons why you'd want particular colours for your cards for covering up these um, treasure maps. Let me make sure I'm pressing the right button. These treasure maps on the boat, if you cover those up with that colour of cat, you get uh, a bonus piece of treasure. So you've got an incentive to do that, but you'll also be giving uh, your sister five points. The other colours are in here jumbled up, so we don't know what they're going to be until we get to that round. There are also these solo lesson cards. So you draw three from the solo lesson deck, and these are basically scoring criteria for my sister as well. She is going to get points based on these things. Five points for every cat I have over 15. So I'm also incentivized to not take too many cats. Uh, three points for every filled room, which, you know, I, I want to fill rooms up. You lose, well, you, you lose five points for every room that you didn't fill up. So I suppose that's okay. I'm just going to get less... Less points, basically, for filling up rooms in this. Two points for every cat in the largest family. You want to have adjacent cats of the same colour. And a point for every cat touching the edge of your boat. I hope that worked. Cough button. Uh, so the edge of your boat is the... You see the thicker white line all around the end? We know what edges are, don't we? And here is uh, Captain Marty. Standing out at the front of the boat there like Titanic. So we're going to try our best to cover up all the spaces in here. You can see in the corner, I am in the way a little bit here, aren't I? Does this button make me disappear? No, it does not. <laughs> so uh, you can still see it, I think, in the main view. Uh, we get, we lose a point for every rat you can still see at the end of the game. Five points for every room that isn't filled up. If you can see all of these little sections here, again, if I zoom in. Uh, you can see there's walls and stuff, and doors for adjacency. Uh, and for it's, it's really good for, for colorblind stuff. It's got all of these different uh, colors of everything, but the, the cats have all got special patterns on their tails. And the rooms have all got these symbols here to help you, you know, define, if you, if you can't quite tell, help you define where each room is. They've all got a different symbol showing you what that room is. So you lose five points for every one of those you didn't fill up. Cat families, you get big points for getting the same colour of cats next to each other. Not the solo rules. How about the great big scoring page? See, there's this table here uh, for each cat family that you've got. So you want three at least of the same colour cat next to each other. Corners aren't adjacent in this. Or eight points, uh, up to loads and loads of points. You can go, uh, you can go crazy with just one colour if you want. But I would be gambling early on because I don't know... I'd, I'd really like to know what colour my sister isn't going to 
tick until the last round because they're only worth one point each for we're not going to know that though until the last round well until the second to last round because by process of elimination by that point we should realize for it three points for every rare treasure there are common treasures up here but as we draw from the discovery bag as i have with all of these cats we'll get rare treasures here and then yes the cards that we play oh the families are even there i didn't even need to thanks steve I didn't even need to get the rule book. I thought, cat families, I should explain that more. It's right here, right next to it. Of course, Frank has thought of everything. This is designed by Frank West, by the way. Uh, we're in the City of Games, did the City of Kings a few years ago. And he is about to announce, if you follow him on Facebook or social media and stuff, on May the 4th, happy birthday, Ellen, uh, he is going to be announcing what's next for the City of Games. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. You can't coax it out of me, because I don't know. But I'm keen to find out. Anyway, then. And yes, he's he's always been... In this week and month of uh, of the anniversary of the channel, Frank has always been very, very supportive. And uh, yeah, thanks, Frank. And he sent me this to do this playthrough with. So, what do we need to do? I think we are set up for the first round of the game. Make sure I've got all of my solo... Phase is ready and I'm doing things in the right order. I've definitely got all the setup. I've filled the fields already. So we have the great big discovery bag, the discovery sack, the discovery burlap bag that is just full of tiles. It's full of every cat tile apart from the special Oshak's cats up there. Uh, and it's full of all of the treasures that aren't these common treasures. And Marty, like, I've, I've tried to clean it up best I can, but I set this up a couple of hours ago and then did some other filming things. There's an April recap coming uh, now that I've filmed that in time. I won't have to combine it with the coming up video, uh, but of course doing that, the window is open Marty likes to hide behind the blinds he's been walking up and down this for all of that time. Don't set things up in advance, your cat will ruin them, but hey I think Four Isle of Cats he just wants to, he just wants to kick all this about doesn't he? He doesn't want to see any other cats here Yes, Frank is a great guy and does run great Kickstarters. Maybe that's what's next. Maybe they'll, there's like a, in the preview picture for it, there's like a, a paw of, uh, of one of the cats, right? And, uh, and something, something new, something unusual on the other side of the sneak a peek picture. But we will find out soon enough. So yes, I have uh, drawn from the bag. We have the left side of the island here and the right side of the island. Now I have crammed things in a little bit here. But uh, depending on where you take them from is how many fish they're going to cost you. You get 20 fish around, and that's the currency of the game, basically. You spend fish to take cards. You spend fish to take cats. You also need baskets for cats. But uh, yeah, it's three fish on this side, five fish on this side. The treasures that come out go underneath here. because It's important in the solo game, uh, the ordering of things, because of uh, my sister taking things away. Uh, so yes, I filled the fields. Fishing. As I mentioned, we take 20 fish. These are fives. So there we go. If my math is right, that will be 20 fish. And then we move on to cards, right? We move on to explore. So in the multiplayer game, this is card drafting. Uh, you'll get some cards, pass them along, get some back, end up with seven cards. We're kind of going to do that in the solo game. It's, it's quite well replicated. You're obviously not trying to deny other people things. You're just thinking about what you want, really. Uh, but for this, we need to draw five cards from the enormous discovery deck and keep three of them. Then we'll get rid of the other two. Then we'll do it again with another five. So we'll have six cards in front of us. And then we just draw one from the deck. And that'll be our seven cards to choose from. So from these cards, they do all sorts of different things. But something to remember is, remember the cats cost us fish. So do the cards. You can see in the corner of them here. There is a cost to keep them. We don't just have to pay it because we have drafted those cards. Uh, but if we actually want to take them into the round, it's uh, it's going to be in there. Um, had your cat come out between two games on your shelf while you were shooting? <laughs> yeah, Mar Marty's uh, he's he, he doesn't do it as much anymore, but he used to be good for popping up at uh, crazy moments. Now he's much more destructive in his uh, in his proper adulthood. Uh, so we need 
we, wait, we need to pick cards. I don't know what uh, words I was searching for there. So let's have a look on the boat here. We have lessons. Now there are private lessons and public lessons. In the main game, public lessons, everyone can score them. And if you if you take other cards, they can just stay in your hand. Lesson cards have to be played. Not so much of a consideration in the solo game because no one else is going to take advantage of these. Only we score the public lessons, but you get half points for them. So pick a color, all players get a point per cat of that color on their boat. So it's something we could take. It's, it's one fish to get that out there. It'll negate a point that my sister will get. We could maybe pick a colour that isn't blue and try and, and, and gamble that maybe it's, maybe it's yellow that she's not going to take too many of, or orange, as the case may be. Yeah, there's, there's a couple of oranges out. We could maybe take that and think about that. Uh, we have a treasure card, a set of runes. This happens kind of towards the end of the round, so we have to hope treasure is still left. But take any two small treasures, they will definitely be left, or pay a fish to take any two common treasures. Oh wait, they're, they're small treasures, aren't they? The, the ones that come out here. So that might not be that great, because we've only got one. Uh, these are the common treasures. Oh yeah, it's all, it's all common treasures, it's just you can either take the tiny ones, or you can pay to take some great big ones. Okay, so that doesn't rely on the fancy treasures coming out, although they are three points each. I would like it if more cards come out that let me have them. These are the main way that you will get your cats. These baskets, every basket you have lets you take a cat. There are broken baskets as well. Two of them will get you a cat. And you can also get permanent baskets. We do have one, so we will be able to buy at least one cat. We have to remember we need fish to be able to afford them as well. And we also have speed. Our sister will reveal cards and show us what her speed is after we've picked cards, simulating what would happen in, in a real game. And that's going to determine the turn order between us. The purple cards are instants. Two fish to get it. Gain a fish for every lesson card in front of you. Well, I think that's a definite no. That's not worth keeping. And I don't know. I think... It would be nice to have some speed, a couple of baskets, maybe just start getting a lot of cats. But maybe we want to try and get points from not cats because our sister has got this thing five points for every cat over 15 that we play. So maybe we've got to be conservative with how many cats get put out there, is what I'm thinking. So I definitely don't want that one. And we can decide on the final thing later. I think I'm going to put back a basket and a speed yeah so they all get discarded and then i'll pop these three over here this can be my hand for now where there's a bit of space we can see what i'm thinking about keeping and then we draw back up the five what's the five versus three debate it sounds funky what do we have here so now Okay, some more treasure. Maybe I do just want to get into a load of treasure. So that rare treasure right there is worth... Fifth, uh, is, is, um, is worth three points, or any two common treasures. Aren't worth points in themselves, but they fill up. Oh yeah, yeah, the, the fish tokens. They do look like... Um, <laughs> I did think they were threes at first. There are two... You see there's two like silhouetted fish underneath them. And it does say they're fives in the rule book, but yeah, as you, as you say, it doesn't matter as long as as long as everyone agrees that it's the same number. Uh, so yes, the so I'm kind of leaning towards treasure again. We have a broken basket here that is free, but you need another one to make it worth anything. But you can keep everything but lessons. You can keep between rounds. So I could, I I think I want to take that. This is a lesson, so it's scored at the end of the game. Seven points if you have at least five fish at the end. Something to work towards. Again, the instant, not great now. Gain a fish for every unique colored cat on your boat. Well, I can save it, can't I, until that is useful. So that will, if I want to go for a load of different colors, I don't really know though at this early stage. This basket is expensive, but that's three speed. I suppose I don't particularly need anything right now, though, right at the start. 
I think I'm going to go for these three. What do you reckon? I'm leaning towards treasure. I want... I, oh, oh, no, the, the sister's cards are... Oh, they're always frustrating. But yeah, if I want, like, a big cat family, I kind of want a load of families of a similar size rather than having one great big one because she gets two points for every cat in it. Well, I suppose that's not too many. If I had a family that was, like, ten big, that's 40 points. And she would get, she would get half of it. <laughs> so I suppose it is a lot. Yeah, nothing we can do about that, though. And I don't think I mentioned as well, you get three just in the normal game, and then you can add the advanced ones to make it harder and harder. I've, I've added one advanced one, which makes it a medium difficulty game. So we just need now one more card from the top of the deck. We don't get a choice in this. It's a broken basket. So I could get three cats, potentially, if I can afford them. I think I should definitely buy the cards. So I, uh, I decide now which ones I want to keep and pay for. So I think for sure I want those. That's just one fish, right? I don't know if, I'll, if the rare treasure will still be there. Sis might take it. But I think those are cards worth getting. This basket... Yeah, so what are we at at the moment? Three, four, six. That's okay, isn't it? But then the lessons... If I can keep five fish, that's a lot of points. Maybe this isn't great if I don't... Well, it, yeah, it negates some of her negative points, doesn't it? Or points she scores, because we're competing rather than her taking points away from me, I suppose. I don't think I'm going to bring this one in yet. I think I'm just going to take these in with me. That's going to cost me, what, four, six, seven out of my 20. And so 13 should be nice and affordable for some cats. And I can always take fish into the next round. Yeah, I can, I can, hold, I can hold treasure cards for future rounds. Yeah, I was wondering where I put all my cards then. They're the discards. So I'll pop them to one side. I have to say I've played a lesson so because I took one. Not that it particularly matters. I'll pop the lessons over to that side trying to remember them all and so I've got to pick a colour for that so I, I could kind of offset what I would lose by taking blues but I'm more tempted, I think I'm going to go for orange, what do you reckon? That's why we've got all of these beautiful figures like uh, the components in Frank's games are always amazing and the Kickstarter edition of this had like wooden fish tokens and stuff just like uh, in Vidoran Gardens, the pieces in that were beautiful as well. That's not orange, that's red. I'm going to go for orange, just because there's two cats out here right now that are orange. So I'm incentivized to take those. So now, read lessons, yep, we've played the race up, and now rescue cats. So we've got to pick the rescue cards we want to play, as in the multiplayer game. Pick them all, and then reveal them, and you work out who's fastest and all that. I think I'm going to go. So I do want Fish Spare maybe to activate this. But I think I'm going to go for all of my rescue cards right off the bat. So I'm going to get two baskets and two speed. It's not a lot, is it? If we come over to my sister, we reveal a solo basket. And so this says she's got two baskets, so that means we need one more card for her, right? We don't see that yet until her second turn. Make sure I'm getting all of this right. Yep, yep, yep. But we compare our speeds. Five speed! Okay, even if I'd paid uh, over the odds for that three speed basket. Yeah, it would have been a waste of money because she's going very fast. So she's going to go first. So she gets to take cat number seven. And this treasure. What does cat number seven mean? Well, you should count them in order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If any have been taken, you still you just count left to right which one she takes away. And that's all she does. She just removes that from the game. Goes back to the box. And she takes this treasure away because there are only five of each treasure. So there's a ticking clock on those as well. Then it comes to me. 
what do I want to do? Who do I want to rescue? Well, since I've made them worth points, I surely want to rescue... I surely want to rescue some orange cats. But I've just thought... Now, you can put your first cat anywhere. And then after that, you just want to... You have to build adjacent to that. And remember, corners aren't adjacent in here. Make sure I'm not forgetting any placement rules. You obviously can't go over the edge of the boat. You're allowed to rotate them. You're allowed to flip them any way you like. Yep, 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 yep. Got to go in your boat. Can't put tiles on top of each other. Got to line up with squares. So what if I went for these two orange ones? I have to do them one at a time. But I could do something like that. Fill in a lot of space, cover up a rat, cover up a lot of this room. And then if I am lucky enough for this one to still be here next time, I could keep filling that up. And my advantage here is I would get a, a treasure. Yeah, any of the four common treasures. I think let's uh, let's spend a basket to rescue this cat. It's on the left island, which means three fish to rescue them. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to pop them right up at the start here. And grab a treasure. And I think I'll, I'll take a big one. Uh, yeah, I could just take an L and do something like that. I could I could fill the room up soon. I, I'm going to put an L over here. Start working on this room maybe at the same time. Yeah, I've covered up a rat. I've put a cat down. That sounds good. Sounds good to me. Hi, Joel. Recuse Marty, Thor, and Loki. Yeah, they, they would not they would not get on with the other cats on here. Although Marty today is uh, looking quite peaceful. He's managed to pull that uh, dressing gown <laughs> over his face so he can't actually be seen properly on the Marty cam. But uh, yeah, that, sound, that sounds about right for him. Uh, so we go over to Sister. She is going to take Cat 6 and Cat 1. Oh no, that's a shame because uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and then cat one, the one I wanted. Okay, we 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 can we we can still go for this. Oh, actually, there's a, there's a green available, and we're right next to a green here. So maybe that's something to do. I was gonna I was gonna say recuse. <laughs> it's a like kid. Re recuse? What are they? What are they recused from? Uh, yeah, res rescue makes more sense. Yes, I lost the hi Rupert. Yes, just lost the other one I was after. So I could, like, with this green, we could place it here. We would need a treasure to fill in this gap. I could get the treasure by. Cause I'm just thinking straight away. We could fill up this uh, green treasure map with this green cat. Think about that gap later. That's what I'm thinking of. And I, <laughs> I do want the red and not the blue from there, but we'll see what we're left with. We, we don't have to spend the basket, right? Do we, do we get to keep the basket? I suppose I, I have played it for the rescue. Read lessons, I know all that. Rescuing cats. Do I get to keep the... Yeah, you don't discard the card unless you use it, do you? So I think I do. I get to keep the cards. I don't. I don't know yet. It depends what uh, he does. One, two. I usually just play them all. Uh, so it's three fish because they came from that island again. But I, I, I know that it's not getting taken away though, so it's not an issue because you just had two baskets this turn. You only get to keep permanent baskets. Yeah, so play because you've played them for your speed, I suppose. Uh, so I've I've used that basket anyway in rescuing my second cat. And then for oh, and I did a treasure map, so I should be taking a treasure piece. I'm kind of thinking the big piece again. Go for like I know filling up rooms isn't as profitable as usual, but I could go for another bigger one. Pop it there. Well, I think hopefully like I could take any two small treasures with that card and get something uh, so I've got another 
I've got my permanent basket now. Flip that over to show that it's been used for this round, because I'm still going. And uh, yeah, I am gonna I'm gonna go for red. That's maybe why you'd want a bit of a different treasure to move this along a little bit. I wouldn't get it to the to over here yet. Just spacing out your colours will make it easier for you to get great big families. I, I think that's going to be okay. Even though, yeah, I, I want lots of medium-sized families, I suppose. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So that's going to cost me five fish. So we've done all of these things. Rescued all of the cats. Sisters had the, all of the tiles, then rare finds happens as usual. So in rare finds, you can take the Oshax and the treasure. So do I want to play both of these or do I want to save them? So take any rare treasure or two common treasures. Again, I don't want to get in the way of the cats, but I would like to just fill up rooms like that right there. Seems purpose built, doesn't it? And that's three points. I think I'm going to take that rare treasure. That's that card gone. Do I want to take two small treasures now? Or do I want to wait and see where I end up leaving myself a gap? Or I can pay a fish to take any two treasures. So I could take two great big ones. I think perhaps wait on that. Because I know where I want one. Let's see if I mess up somewhere else. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I think I think rare treasure, especially with that space. If that space didn't seem so purpose built. Uh, so, yes, that's that's the end of the day. Flip the next card. Yeah. Oh, we, yeah, we don't even necessarily need the boat because the cards are the timer here. So we see that she's going to get five points for every blue I took. She's going to get four points for every green I took. I've already taken one. Uh, yeah, I, I agree. Hold that, hold that treasure card. So the, the cats... The fields get emptied. And then we need to go again, right? We need to fill the fields up. Where is that bag? Down here. Let's see. Loads of lovely cats in here. Make sure I'm on the right angle. One, two. Oh, not a cat. You're a treasure. Two, three. Oh, so <laughs> very profitable cats for my sister. Oh, dear. In the cheaper section. So maybe I have to be a bit more frugal with the cards here. And then another green, a red. And an orange. Another treasure. So fingers crossed for treasure cards again. Okay, a couple of oranges. So we could just get a couple of cats. I've only got three at the moment, though. There's five days overall. Uh, so there we go. So fishing, I get 20 fish. I kept two from last round. So that's not too shabby, is it? So 22 fish. And explore. Okie doke. Remembering we've got that. I'll put that over this side for now. To remind myself it's not part of this uh, draft. So let's have a look. Where's the boat button? I haven't renamed the buttons. They've still got the quacks names on them. Uh, <laughs> but just remember which one that which one means what. So I could, if I really, really want to go first, in case she takes away those two oranges, then I could do that. So I could save tuna surprise, pick a colour, gain a fish, for every cat of that colour on your boat. A speedy broken basket. That would cost me three altogether, though. That would just cost me two. Maybe I'd want to go first, though. I think I'm going to go... I'm going to be a bit frugal. I'm going to go for just the half... Of, that half of the broken basket, I think. And I don't have to necessarily keep those cards. Yes, Gemway. Expensive round, it's looking like. Right away. Unless... You know, I, I want to play the ones that are going to get a, a load of points. Next five cards. So we've already taken a few baskets. I would like other things. So 15 points if the dining room is empty. Which offsets your five point penalty. But remember in this game, 
get a five point penalty if the room isn't filled. But sister is getting three points for every filled room. So I am quite tempted by that. And let's just build around the dining room. That would really hurt the yellow family. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I, could, I can just start another family later on, right? That doesn't have to be my only one of that uh, particular colour. Yeah, you've got to put all of your cats next to each other, and you want like ones next to each other. Maybe that's going to be possible. Oh, and I don't want cats touching the edge of the boat. I've got three cats touching the edge of the boat already. That's only three points. We can... Let's not panic. We can do this. Okay. Where, so I'm, I'm taking that one. That's one of the ones. Discard a permanent basket for five fish. I've only got one permanent basket. I don't think I'm doing that. Just a load of speed. A fish for every lesson card in front of you. I don't think I'm going to take that. I think they're just going to be the three. So I could get some incredible speed. I could just buy those cards, though, for use in future rounds. I don't have to play them. And finally, we've got a basket and a speed there. So what am I going to pay to keep? out of these cards. I don't know if I want both of those speed cards. The broken basket is a nice cheap way of having things. I'm probably only going to take a couple of cats and I've got my permanent basket, haven't I? I think this lesson's a good one to have. We should have that. And let's do it. Yeah, let's, let's not ruin the lovely empty dining room that's going to be two fish we'll take that pop that on there for a yes and then in terms of baskets maybe get a couple and save one for next round and just get one of the speed things what would this cost me two four six seven so that would give me 15 right so i could get those three if I'm lucky with what's left over, I could afford those three fish, that those three cats from the five fish island. I would have three baskets. I would have just enough fish. I wouldn't be able to afford, you know, take any two common treasures. But that could be something to think about. Yeah, good point. Hard to do that lesson and not have cats on the edge. It's right in the middle of the ship, isn't it? I'm just disregarding cats on the edge. I need to have... I should have made, like, a border of treasure. 15 points is always tasty. But that is two fish. Whereas I could just get another basket for a future round if I want to spend that much. No treasure cards this round. I think that's what I'm going to go for. I agree, Steve. You've made me see sense. We can't avoid the middle of the boat and all of the edges of the boat. So I've got these. Do I want to play them all? No, I don't think I'm going to take all those cats anyway. Do I want to? I want to play my speed though, don't I? To try and go first. Although she got seven last time, didn't she? So I think we just discard the ones she played last time. And let's see what she's going to do this time. So she's got. Uh, Four baskets and four speed. You don't add all of this up, do you? She's got four speed. So I have got more. I've got six speed. Right. Just double check that I'm doing that all right. I don't mess up. Oh, I'm sure you'd tell me. If I'm messing it up, but... Yep, yep, yep. Bottom of the card. Baskets and speed. Oh, we don't see all of this, do we? You haven't seen those. I don't remember what the numbers are. So yeah, we don't add up all the speeds because you only see that card. Yeah, I didn't even need to look that up. So she takes cat three and treasure L. Okay, I wasn't going to take that anyway, but I was going to take treasure L. I don't like those going away. So maybe it will be time to spend the fish to keep that. Yeah, almost cheating there. Let's have a look at all the cats you're about to take. 
luckily, I can't remember any of this. Uh, so, cat to take. We could keep going with a family of reds. This isn't a room. This is just outside, isn't it? Only the things with symbols are rooms. So could I put this cat in such a way? I could definitely form a family with this cat. I would like to... But can I cover it up for the treasure and not have it touch the edge. I think that's a great big no to that question. There would be great, but I've got to be adjacent. Hmm. No, I can't do that. So I could do that and have another thing touching the edge. Maybe just have that and I've got two spaces for a one. Oh, it is a room. That is another thing next to the edge, though. I can just place it down here. Start uh, covering up a load of rats. That's already earned me some points. Yeah, I think I'm going to take that cat. So that will be one of my baskets. The speed doesn't matter anymore. Uh, and five fish. Next up, cat two. And another big treasure. Cat 2, I don't mind. I was not going to take that anyway. First of the long treasures. Then next cat for me. It doesn't make a difference in terms of her numbers which one I take, but which one would be the best fit for me? Now this one, go right there. That's quite nice. This one. Yeah, it doesn't fit in quite so nice. Although there, that's something, isn't it? Build up a bit of a yellow family, maybe leave room for some greens. And this one could go anywhere later, it could go there or something, couldn't it? Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to take. That's another basket and five more fish. Expensive round. Sis, do not take number four, please. Cat six. If that cat isn't there anymore, she takes just the last one. So, cat six, rare five. So, in terms of rare treasures, there isn't a five. So, one, two, he takes that, she takes that, and she takes the last cat as well. So, it's a waste of my permanent basket if I don't take a cat. But, she gets four points if I take a green. Big yellow. I've got big yellow, haven't I? Use the treasure to cover the one. Well, that. Have I, what? Oh, have I covered up some treasure? Oh, from my card, you mean? So, do I take another cat? It's giving a four point or five if I take a blue, but no, there's no reason I would choose to take a blue. There's like, you know, if we didn't have her to contend with, that's beautiful right there, but it's, it's another green and it's touching the edge. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a waste of the basket, but I will save my five points. I'm not going to do it. My five fish, I mean. And it would have been five points, four for the green and one for touching the edge. Uh, so, take any two small treasures or pay a fish to take any two common treasures. Maybe I should do that. And start lining the side of the boat. Yeah, I don't think we should get another cat. I'm going to pay a fish. One, two, three, four. What do you think about this? Because I don't trust myself. I'm going to do this to take any of these tre any any two treasures. So I'll take these bigger ones. I am kind of making a specific section here. In terms of buy this green, but while they're about, 
let's stop cats touching the edge and start filling up this room. Like, if I did get a blue, probably not a good idea, but I would get a treasure for putting it here. I like that, I think. And you, you do want to go along, though. You do want to progress along so that you can get to over here. That's kind of where you want the purple. The yeah, you can get the... You have to cover the treasure with a cat of that colour, though, don't you? Or does treasure count as well? Yeah, the colour has the colour has to match for covering up the treasure. So I have to cover that up with a, a red cat. <laughs> Steve likes that play, but usually loses. I'm going to go with it and hope for a red cat for there. But that also isn't touching the edge. Right, let's see. And I've got a basket waiting in the wings. So we need... Sorry, cats. We'll come back for you another time. And the rare treasure goes. New colour for sister is purple. I haven't got one yet. That's only three neg that's only three points for her. I keep thinking negative points, but they're not. Oh, we didn't we didn't take a cat for her, but I'd stopped taking cats, so it doesn't matter. Doesn't really matter, does it? So we need to fill the fields. Give it a big jumble. And we've got red, green, purple. Well, I like red. Purple. Yeah, orange is looking good. If we could get some cats of that colour out, that would be even better. There we go. There's one. Red is looking quite good as well. No treasure this time. So fishing, I have 24 fish. I should have taken that lesson that wanted me to have five fish left over. And then uh, it's explore time. One, two, three, four, five. What we got? So a point for every two cats touching the edge of your boat. So that negates half of the points that she's going to get for that. I've already put three touch in the edge. That's something to think about. Uh, take an Oshax. It's five fish, but you've seen their lovely shapes. They are very big as well, and you define what color they are when you take them. That could be beautiful. Do something like this. Mm. Okay, I'm thinking of that. Uh, the Professor, pick a colour, all players get a point for every treasure touching that colour of cat. So I could go for orange again. And uh, I've got two treasure touching the orange cat. Maybe more later. Another Oshax card. And pick a colour, everyone gets five points if they have three or more cats of that colour on their boat. So remember though, these are half points rounded up. But half points for public lessons. I think out of those... I should keep these. I'm not going to get two Oshaks, though, am I? Am I? It's as good as taking five cats from otherwise. Can I have more than one Oshaks of a colour? Or do they have to be different colours? I don't have to do it yet, so I've got time to wait for feedback on that. Then, some a normal basket. Two fish for each Oshaks on your boat. Hmm. It costs two to get, though, so it would just earn me two, basically. Uh, Eel Trade CD Apex. Uh, a basket with three speed. They can be different. Can they be the same, though? I assume so. Uh, gain a permanent basket. That is six fish. But don't have to worry about getting these basket cards. But basket cards are getting me speed as well. Uh, gain a fish for each unique colored cat. So that would get me th a, a profit of one. I'm not as excited about that. I think... Now, we could just play this after the Oshaks, but that's after you've taken normal cats, isn't it? Should we maybe get a normal basket in there? We're not going to get all these Oshaks and a permanent basket, are we? It's just you could have a round where you just don't draw baskets. It's unlikely. There's a lot in there. I'm going to go Speedy Basket 
and we can save these for later. You do have to pay for them now, though. Let's go Oshax for now. It would get me some profit. And then the last one to come out, three points per Oshax on your boat. And I'm putting two on right now. I think we should take... If we add it up, though, just these lessons and the Oshax would cost me 14 out of my 24. So I'd have 10. And I've already got two baskets to take two fives. I should maybe not do anything else. Or pay for this and maybe cash it in later when I've got even more Oshax. Just not pay for these baskets at all. They can be the same good. <sighs> I'm going to go for that. So what's that? 16. So much on cards. But I'm only going to take two cats from the display. So we've got some more lessons now. Move these down a bit. So if I have to have cats touching the edge of the boat, it's not as bad. And I want Oshax, but that does rely on you getting the cards for them. I'm going to get two this round. And only two normal cats. Okay then, so it's time for... I'm just playing this. Speed of one. Sister is going for three baskets and a speed of nine. Looking at the cards again. Being cat eight and Oshax one. Cat eight, Oshax one. Okay. So I, out of the cheap, I wanted red, didn't I? Like red could go there where I was thinking of putting the Oshax and it goes over the treasure. Still. And the Oshax could go somewhere else. And it's cheap. It's the only one in the cheap section that isn't going to earn my sister points. So I think I'm going to go for that red. Three fish there. For the red. Uh, sister is taking cat six and a tiny treasure. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's fine by me. Tiny treasure I'm not so happy with. Then it's back to me for my permanent basket. So I could take the yellow. I could take the yellow says after picking up the red because I don't necessarily want just a massive family of red do I just, I would like to just pop it there but what if I don't get small treasure cards again I'm getting a small treasure from this though <gasps> I should have had a small treasure already what if I do that although you want a uh, big Big common treasures, don't you? Do you know what? My, my treasure for covering up that red treasure map is going to be this one. That's two rats covered up, and I'm doing this border along the bottom of the boat. One, one, one side of this boat is just going to be gleaming. It's going to blind the other sailors. Any pirate ships come along, they won't be able to see. So... The red's okay, it's a bit of a funny shape for where this is. We could go something like there, but that leaves a gap. Go there, that leaves a funny shape to be filled in. The yellow, again, potentially cutting things off. Unless I just leave that one gap. But that's a one gap with a rat in it. Surely we can get another treasure to fill that up though. And then I'm keeping these families the same size. Yeah, you, you'll realise at the end of the game what terrible mistake you've made. I'm going to leave that one gap. Well, what if... If I do this, is there a nice Oshax that would fit into... There's not going to be one that particular shape, I know, but... That would fit not kind of neatly into that gap that I'd left? I don't think so. I think that's too awkward a shape. Yes, it is. I can make it one bigger, but then that's leaving even tinier gaps to fill up. 
I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to take that. That's five fish and my permanent basket. So we can still take the HX, but uh, I do want to wait on them. Cat four. And then, ah, stop taking their big treasures. Cat four is that one. I haven't got any baskets left anyway. So that's it. We come to the Oshex. I think I'll, I'll take one. I don't know if I'll take the other one. But what would be good? Well, surely we've got a nice one for this uh, this shape here. That one, or that one's quite nice. Have it red. Or do we wait and find out which colour is better for points? Just that if you wait, you might not have many Oshaks left. Hmm. We find out, though, at the end of this round, what the best for points is. My boat looks empty. <laughs> hmm. I get three points for having one. It'll negate some of that penalty. I'm going to go for it. What about you? Would you be good on the boat? I like this shape. I'm going to get this Oshex. Pop a red on to say that she's a red and uh, give in one of my cards. I don't. I think I'll save the other one. Let's see what I'm doing with that. Yes. And I'll save my gain fish for Oshax as well. Although I could play that for four fish next time if I if it's going to be worth that much to me. No, we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait. So fish get cleared out. Colour gets revealed. I realise you can't see that. Red. Okay. Bit of a shame for the Oshax, but okay, we know that. What a great choice. Orange was for that. Because that uh, that negates well, it's a public lesson, isn't it? So it's hot, it's hard, but then it's round up, rounded up. So yeah, it negates the penalty for having orange cats. Okay, uh, back to the bag, which has fallen right down. And there's an orange. There's an orange. Here we go. Give us some treasure and some treasure cards as well, please. Here we go. The Points wise, the cheapest colours. No more rare treasure. But it is rare. That's why they called it that, I think. I will grab myself 20 fish. And let's take a look at some cards. I've put another cat on the edge of the boat, haven't I? <laughs> Never learn. That's why I'm doing this barrier down here. Three, four, five. Okay, what have we got? Got a broken basket with some speed. Discard any two played lesson cards to gain a permanent basket. Hmm. You can't uh, discard public ones for this, can you? Well, maybe you can in solo. I don't think so, though. Uh, two points per rare treasure. I've only got one. Uh, speedy basket. And pick a basket, all players get three points per lonely cat of the chosen colour. So it would be two when it's been halved and rounded up. I would get two points back for this green. And I could get a purple then covering up this treasure. And it would only lose me one point if I got this lesson. I think I'm not so fussed about the speedy basket. I'm going to take the broken basket. Let's take the speedy basket in case we're desperate. Take those three. Five more. We've got 12 points if both the captain's rooms are full. So, which was the other captain's room? 
Have I already filled it? No, that's the moon one. Where's your other captain's room? Oh, here. Okay, so this one is on the way. I'm not even close to this one yet. We have got two more rounds. 12 points for that. Standard basket. Discard played lesson cards for a permanent basket. Pick a colour, gain a fish for each cat of that colour on your boat. I've got four reds already. Could just gain myself some fish just by getting that card. And another broken... I think for sure the broken basket because I've got half of one already. I don't want that one. And... I would like... I don't think I'm going to get four cats. I would like more fish off that, more money. And my last one is going to be a point for every lonely cat. That's not going to be met. Although I could do more lonely cats. Oh yeah, this is pick a colour as well. It's not just every lonely cat, is it? So I don't think I'm going to pay for that. I'm definitely going to get the broken baskets. That's going to cost me two. Take that, it'll cost me four. That's going to cost me six. I'm going to take that basket. It's going to cost me nine. Well, then though, yeah, I can get some fish back from that card. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Because if I can get another red, even though they are, they're bad points now though, aren't they? I could get, if I get a couple of yellows and then cash in this, and just say that it's, it's orange, isn't it? The meeple's orange, but the, the, the pieces to me look yellow. Yeah, Morty is a lonely cat. I could get a point for him. He would have a, I think he would have a nice expression on his face now. Look at him dreaming. A little whisker twitch, little ear twitch there. Unfortunately, he's uh, hidden his face. Okay, I bought a lot of cards. And I think we're bringing it all in. That's still only three baskets, isn't it? Thinking that I'm Mr. Big Shot. Uh, so I see you. Four baskets. Four baskets, four speed. I don't have that, I don't think. Oh, I do. I've got five speed. <gasps> yeah. Okie doke. So, this one is quite a nice shape. For over here, isn't it? We do want to fill the captain's rooms up now. We've taken that card, though. I should have that lesson card over here, shouldn't I? Could put it there and then wonder. No, I couldn't. I couldn't because it doesn't fit. But we can work our way over there. I'm going to take that three fish. Then we know that she is taking cat one and Oshax five. Cat one, unfortunately, Oshax five. Yeah, if Marty comes and lies on the board, we'll call that a win. I have played the Magnificent. I really like that. I did a solo playthrough for the expansion not too long ago. It is magnificent. A port of games make some brilliant things. Why have I stopped? I'm picking cats. Second cat. Okay. So it's more expensive, but this orange over here plugs up a gap. Plugs up some space in that uh, captain's room. We only need two treasures then. Not that I've seen a treasure card since the first round. But... Yeah, I think I'm going to go for that. It's going to cost me five. I can still afford a cheap cat if they're out there. It's going to have to be my permanent basket. That's okay, isn't it? Turn two for the sister. Cat two and the last L. Cat two, the last L. Yeah, they are comparable. It is a lot of this, uh, this puzzling over this stuff. And uh, I think Isle of Cats is a lot more accessible. 
I don't know how accessible like the family game is because I'm a bad judge of gateway games at this point and because I don't I don't really teach new people games and um but I would imagine that just the actual teaching of this you need baskets here are the cats would be a lot easier than explaining you know the addition of the dice and stuff in the the magnificent we yeah, are I love how all of that comes together in the magnificent and feast for odin yeah feast for odin is uh the <laughs> the great big beast of polyomino games so i get one more cat right so i could take one of those reds even though they are more negative points if we're gonna get treasure doesn't that just look lovely there? It's leaving two single gaps in a room that I desperately need to fill up before the end of the game. Is the reason not to do that. But the reason to do it... It looks nice. There is this red cat as well. I know red cats are two negative points. And it would be a lonely red cat, but that plugs up that gap absolutely beautifully. I would have to spend my card to be able to afford that. Because in terms of Oshaks, I don't think there are any that would fit in this particular gap. Oh no, that one would. Maybe we don't have to worry about that gap. If I'm putting that there, this one could even just go... Well, there's nowhere good for this one, but <laughs> you see the point. I want this Oshax, but I can't take it yet. Hmm. That Oshax, I, I definitely want to leave that gap for that Oshax. Maybe I'll put this yellow down here and maybe we'll fill it back up. It's on the edge. Don't do that. And then, yeah, maybe, maybe put that there. Because where did this go? That could be filled in with a treasure maybe, and it's not essential that we fill in that room. Yes, I'm going to take this cheaper cat, so I don't have to spend my card yet, even. And uh, and pay the three fish for it. Because at the moment I can say yellow for this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do I want to say this one's yellow, so that's seven? Thinking of families, although, yeah, she's just taking points away from my families. I'm still earning more than she is taking away. So it is still just good to have a great big family of cats. But maybe I should make the red family better at the same time. Okay, uh, it's just time for her now, isn't it? So she's taking cat four and cat three. That doesn't matter. And then cat three. <gasps> and Oshak's three. <laughs> Okay, well, that messes things up beautifully. So, I can still get an Oshax. They won't fit there. There are going to be other ways, though, of filling up that room. Maybe we take the Oshax and do something like this, just to try and get into this final area something like i'm being wary now of going near the, the edge of it no i desperately want to or even just to w work towards the edge you know of the board i could say this is another red to build up that family frustrating isn't it but then leaving that gap here how's that ever going to get filled up hmm maybe we should wait on the Oshax here But if we wait, is there even going to be an Oshax to take? I've paid for this card.
I wish now that I'd seen what a good space that was and not uh, waited at all. But I think... Let's... Let's work our way over here. But try not to take up too much space or touch the edge. How are you going to do that then? Like that? And that's going to be another red? It would be fun to, to do Feast for Odin with Paul. I don't know how long that would take us. Although he, he did his solo game very, very quickly. It wouldn't take us as long as Mage Knight for sure. But yeah, I, I definitely, I definitely want to play Feast for Odin again. After seeing him do it on stream yesterday, that'll have to be one soon. I don't think there's going to be time next week. And I'm supposed to be playing all of these different games, but I just think, oh, Feast for Odin, I want to play that again. And I thought oh, I did the Norwegians not very long ago, probably a while ago now, when I saw it uh, yesterday in the, the history thing. It had a it had a daft thumbnail. Well, not daft, just the older thumbnail. Maybe that. And just say it's a red, because I know it's two negative points for a red, but it's an Oshax, so it's worth three points, and it makes this family bigger. And she's only gonna do a penalty on the largest family. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's better. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. Okay, so the final colour is... Big reveal. Da, 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 da. Orange. And... Yeah, everyone wants to play Odin now. That would be a good one for Gridcon. I don't know if we're at Gridcon too, because as far as I know, it's very limited. But... Um... Well, ticket-wise, because people bought tickets for Gridcon 2 that was going to be, that didn't happen. So they need to be serviced first. We've got a nice H-cat there. A lot of purple cats, but even though they are minus points, where's the rare treasure? Glad I haven't got any cards. I shouldn't have this Oshax card anymore. I've just had that, haven't I? Uh, Yeah. Right, at least I haven't got any cards for rare treasures waiting around. I need to go to Gridcon so I can make another video. Although, I don't know, it, it wouldn't be as good. That's what I always think with why I did that Supermarket Sweep video and never did anything like it again. And just did that Gridcon video. Just think, eh, I've done that. So, Basket. Am I am I right here? I haven't skipped anything. I've skipped getting 20 fish. That's kind of important. And since this is the last day... Fish left over aren't points, right? No. I should probably use my... Gain two fish for every Oshax on board. We can, we can wait. Wait and see, though. We don't have to do that just yet. So take a rare treasure or two common treasures. I'm... Leaning towards it because of the one gaps here. Two common treasures, even though they're quite small. That plugs two gaps and nearly fills two rooms. Nine points if you have exactly five red cats. I've got five red cats. If I don't take another one... Oh yeah, it's the, it's, uh, the last round. Nine points if you have exactly five blue cats. Well, that's a no. And I feel like the speed is a no as well. I want the broken basket. Do I? Apparently. If I don't take any more red cats, and there aren't any available, so <laughs> it's probably going to be likely. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, four, five, and then I decide. So no shacks. Do we gamble on whether that is going to be there after all of the picking? Basket, basket, basket. Gain two fish for each Oshax. 
Hmm. If we want expensive cards, we take this. Because this is turning two into four, right? But I think the baskets, I think we've got I think we've got enough extra fish coming in to be able to afford cats. But do we want all of these cats? Purple are three points for sister, but a treasure for going over here? Maybe there's going to be a great shape for covering the captain's room? I don't think there is. But we could dream. Maybe we just go for baskets, and baskets have speed. Yes. I am not gambling that the Oshax is going to be there. Last card is another basket. <laughs> Keep waiting four rounds. I've been, I've been using this. When, when I saw in the rule book, I would just use this as your round tracker. I thought, oh yeah, that's a good idea. But uh, the boat has just been waiting there. So, cards to pay for. I didn't get another broken basket. It's free, but there's no point in having it around, is there? Because this is the last round. The, I'll definitely pay for the lesson. I'll definitely pay for the treasure, so that's four. How many cats am I going to get? I want two the most. I'm going to take the speedy ones. This, so that's 10 fish right now. I think I'm going to take one more basket. That's going to be 12 fish. So I will have 8 left to spend on. But I've got here... This one's worth 4. So I've got 12. And this one at the moment is worth two, three, four, five, six more if I buy a, a, a fish. So it makes me think, should I get another basket? So what have I got? Eight, 12, maybe 20. I'm already getting four fish though. Yes, I'm, I'm going to stick with what I've got. So I've got this lesson card. I need to fill up the captain's rooms. That has to be priority. So my speed is seven. What are you doing, sis? That's three baskets and two speed. Cat two, rare two. Well, there's nothing rare. Cat two is purple. Okay, well, I want this one because it will... F it will do the other gap in the captain's rooms. Probably not going to get to plug these up. And nothing else will really fit in this gap, and it makes the family bigger. I think that's what I'm going for first off. It does break my heart a little bit <laughs> to be making all of those single gaps. Uh, that is three fish and a basket. Oh wait, sister, to sister shouldn't have gone first, should she? Doesn't matter. I should have gone first. I'm fast. But she didn't take away what I wanted, so I, I, I'll have another go. So, thinking about what could fill this room up, nothing. Like, that would go nice there, but I would need something already to be up here. Like, that just makes two single gaps that I would have. I'm already having to put a treasure there. There's rats as well to be thinking of. That's just one single gap. But it would be nice to take one. There isn't one, but if one could fill in the... Like that would have a two gap for treasure and it would... <gasps> and I could get it by putting that down. Yeah. Three fish. And a basket. Take a treasure, because I've just covered a purple treasure map. One captain's room down. Then, sister's turn two. Cat five, rare four. Well, there's nothing rare. Two, three, four, five. Well, was not going to take that anyway. So now... We can think about... Probably rats, to be honest. Now... I can get two more cats, can't I? Now this cat here, I would like to join up to my other cats. Like there, maybe? 
I'm still not going to get to fill this room up there. This room could potentially get filled up. Not like that. Although that would get me a treasure. It's another cat on the edge though. And it's a minus five point blue cat. And just the downside of covering all these rats up is that it's on the edge and I'm putting another cat on the edge. I think we should take this one. Uh, that's five fish, so I'm going to have to earn some fish. Let's do two fish for each Oshax. That's four fish, and one from my supply is five. Take this and... If I could slot it in such a way that we could get anywhere near these fish, that would be gr these rats, that would be great. But I don't think we can. Let's just keep the family growing. This done. Cat 6, rare 3. Should have taken the gamble on the Oshax. Couldn't have known that, though. Last cat goes away. My last cat. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 fish coming my way for spending this card. 5... Six, seven, eight. So it is minus points for taking minus three for taking a purple. I'm going to fill up the captain's rooms with this. So I can take a bigger treasure. I can take any two common treasures. So I could take the small one fills the captain's room up. Let's just do this a bit early. Because she's not going to take it away. She's done all of her cards. Just so I can plan it properly. Because then the other one I could take could be the big one that's left. Oh. I can't pop it just there though. Because it has to be adjacent to something. It's not going to help me fill any rooms up anywhere, is it? But neither is a single anywhere. If I could take a cat. And. Cover up a rat in some other way. And then do the rest with treasure. I don't think that's possible though. Like that's minus three isn't it. Although minus two. Because I'm covering up a rat. And then put a treasure here. Because this isn't on the edge. Because it's just the corner. Hmm. And then I could just get a size 2 and that goes there. There's going to be no more filling up rooms. Unless I put a cat on the bottom and use treasure to fill in that one. So I'd gain, what is it? Basically gain 2 points for filling up a room because she gets 3. She would get Another point for a cat touching the edge of the boat. I think this is better. That costs me three. But you get nothing for leftover fish, do you? So it doesn't really matter. Oh, I lost one. So then, that's it, isn't it? Where's my lovely score pad? So I don't know where this is going to go. So let's move the lessons out of the way. And have it over here. See that right? Oop. So, Tom, sister. Okay. Did I play everything? Yeah, I did that. So, families. I don't have any blue families or green families. You have to have at least three for a family. Orange. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's going to be 30. And while we're thinking about it, she gets two points for each of those. Because that's, that's going to be my biggest family. So she gets 16. So I'm just going to write 16 in that same place. That's her thing done for that card. Purple families. Just two and they're separate, so no. Uh, red families. We've got one, two, three, four, five. So that's going to be 15 points. Not too bad. 
Rare treasures. Only got the one. Only a few came out the whole game, though, didn't they? That's just going to be three points. Lessons. Okay. Here come the big bucks. So, a point for every orange rounded down. But do we round it down after we've worked out the total? I imagine so. Otherwise, it would be too good. Check the solar rules. Yeah. You work out how much you would earn, then halve it, then round it up. Because if you, if you halved it first, this would just get me a point each still. Uh, so I've got, what have I got? Eight. I've got eight orange, so that would get me eight points. Gets me four points. Something, though. Uh, so that's the only public lesson, isn't it? And then my other lessons are both the captain's rooms full. Yes. So that's 12 points. Three points per Oshax. I only got two because I wasn't brave enough to get that third one. That's going to be six points, though. I have exactly five red cats. Three, four, five. So that's going to be nine points. And then a point for every two cats touching the edge of the boat. <laughs> it's loads. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Okay. Do we round up normal lessons? I don't think you do one point per two cats. You wouldn't round that up, would you? It doesn't say, but... So I get just two points for that. That probably wasn't worth it. Although two points is two points, isn't it? I, do, I don't think I lost anything out by taking that lesson. Rats. I can see one, two, three, four stinking rats. There. Minus. Rooms. Well, the corridor room I haven't done. That's one, two, three, four rooms have not been done. That's going to be minus 20. Okay. And then for sisters cards, a point per cat touching the edge. That's five, isn't it? Three points per filled room. Oh, no. How many rooms are there? Let me have a look at the, just the drawing of where all the rooms are. I've filled up, yeah, I've done the parrot room and the moon room. Is that the only one? Yeah, I've just done those two rooms, haven't I? Oh, and the other captain's room. I've done three filled rooms. So that is nine points for her. And then five points for every cat over 15. I've never got more than 15 cats, have I? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It's probably done me way worse having that. I should have just got... There was no L's left. But I could have just got a size 2 or something to just do one rat. And that probably would have been more points. I've lost myself 5 extra points for, for doing that. So she gets five points for that. But then also, I haven't got any blue, so no points for that. Green, I've got one. She gets four points. Purple, I've got two. She gets six points. Red, I've got five. She gets ten points. Orange, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So she gets eight points. So the totals... Oh, where's the button? Okay, move that up. I think this is everything. So I've got 45, 48, 66, 75, 77, 80, oh, 77, 57. Does not seem high. 10, 26, 31, 40, 58, 63. So unfortunately, maybe even just because of that oversight, I just shouldn't have taken a cat. Because if I, if I hadn't have taken a cat, what would we have had? Two more rats. Like three more rats visible. Just say I did that. We would have three more rats visible. But that would have been eight less points, eight fewer points for... Uh, sister, there's three points for it being purple. 
and five points because it was my 16th one. So yeah, that would have that would have been eight less points for sister, three less points for me. No, two less points for me. That would have made it a tie. What what well I assume you want to win a solo game, not tie a solo game. Yeah, I've done all of those, done all of those. In case of a tie, your sister wins. Okay then, so there were there were deeper mistakes than that then. It's a relief to know I still would have lost, even if I hadn't made that last mistake. But yeah, you've gotta keep these things in the game. It's this is a it's a fantastic uh solo implementation of this. As far as I remember, it didn't have I, I don't think I've played solo before uh, having this final version. I don't remember the prototype having it. We loved it, two player, back when we had that. But yeah, this is an absolutely fantastic uh, solo implementation. That looks cool, doesn't it? <laughs> but uh, yeah, because you are just essentially playing the same game with things being taken away from you. But the fact that everything that you want to do is restricted by your sister getting loads of points for all of it. Uh, yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. And that was just medium difficulty as well. So we could have, we could say that we would have won the game if it was on easy difficulty, maybe. If, if you hadn't made that mistake and it was on easy difficulty, you can call that a win. But yeah, once you've got to put that many kind of clauses on your win, it's probably not a win, is it? Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, the better you do, the better she does. And you've just got to find, uh, find the little twist that's going to win you the game. How's Marty doing? He's come from under the dressing gown, but is uh, just got his back to us now. Just, uh, just ashamed of that loss. Getting a little dream twitch, or just uh, irritation that he's being talked about again. So that is the Isle of Cats. I'm glad that I've got a playthrough with the final thing now, and that it gets uh, its solo time. I've already said what I think about Isle of Cats, though. That hasn't changed since the original Kickstarter thing. The pieces are a bit nicer, but from what I remember, the prototype pieces are always really nice in Frank's games anyway. So I think the same. And uh, I, I didn't get paid for that video back then either. So you can't even say that. Not that anyone watching to this point would be saying that. Sisters, run faster and take things. Probably now, yeah. I would have argued that younger. But yeah, I don't think I would have been that fast. But yes, what a great big week this has been. Tea's cold. You can just barely see Lemmy. Uh, yeah, big anniversary week, big playthrough week, big playthrough month, really. The the recap video I recorded earlier, it's like 40 minutes long or something, just because there's so many videos this month. Where's my notepad? Where's me? I had a notepad, right? But... So I did this on the 21st, so that was like, that was like nine days ago. If you can see this. So like, this is because I've started doing live videos. You can't really have all of this. This is me trying to fix the stars opening that I'm not even using anymore now that uh, <laughs> Anniversary Marty's here. But uh, yeah, I, because they were all pre-recorded in February, there's like eight and a half hours of like finished video. 16 in March, started to do live right in the last week of March, I think. Nine days ago, there was 25 hours, and we've done like a great big Cloud Spire playthrough since then, another four and a half hour Mage Knight thing. I know that it's not quite comparable because live things are going to be longer anyway. But uh, yeah, I, I, I'm sure I say all this in the recap, so I'm going to be repeating myself when that goes up tomorrow maybe uh but yeah I, overall i have definitely spent more time doing all of this this month so the idea that doing live means i don't have to edit as much and it can be a bit less pressure i've probably put as much if not more pressure back on myself doing all of this but it's it's just uh I've, I've been really into doing all of the live stuff it's been really fun and i imagine that it's gonna have to calm down a little bit at some point but yeah i'm really feeling feeling buzzed by doing it at the moment and the doing the top 10 reminiscing thing was really nice as well thank you for all of your anniversary wishes it is crazy that it's been five years and definitely doesn't feel like that it's scary to think that it's been five years although that is many many years of doing you know doing it all at, all at weekends it's still doing summer weekends 
Uh, but try and keep the weekends free. Some summer evenings still have to do. But I think it's always going to be like that. Some sometimes the live streams are in evenings. We watched Taskmaster late last night. Roach wasn't happy. But live streams, you you can't control how long they're going to go. But yes, I I would say a solo game of this probably takes about forty five minutes or so. I haven't I'd probably even quicker than that. If you're more experienced and can make decisions better, it, I suppose it depends how long you're thinking about it. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's it's fantastic game for its length. It's deceptively deep for how simple it is to learn, but it's, it's absolutely beautiful and quite good. Well, what are we at? An hour and forty, and I've been waffling for a little bit of it. So yeah, that that's not bad at all. It's 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 a nice bow to the week of uh, of great big streams. Uh, a, a, a year, a couple of weeks ago, yeah, it it feels. It's it just gets time just seems like it's going faster and faster, doesn't it? Congrats on the year. Yeah, for, for Frank, I imagine, <laughs> well, especially, especially just knowing the game back to front as well is definitely going to help. But uh, yeah, we should we should do another one where it's just just speed going through it. Do one of like uh, Beast for Odin or something where we've played it loads. Although I haven't played it loads lately, so I'm probably slower at it again. Anyway. That's it. Oh, oh yeah, multi promo. Yeah, I would love that. I, I would love all of like one of the things I was I was having to start paring it down because I was going to go on forever in that anniversary stream, and I said it was going to be a top ten, so I just tried to pick ten things. But one of the things did I mention it in the end? I, th I think I mentioned it in the end that Seize the Bean uh, made a lovely uh, promo card of me, and it hasn't come out yet. It's still it's it's finished now. It's in production. It's getting on ships. It's finally going to come out, and I'm sure it's going to be amazing. Can't wait to play it again. I had to send my prototype away after I did the Kickstarter video, and that was about three plus years ago. Uh, but yeah, that's the that's the only game so far that has put me in a promo. I didn't even know it was going to happen. I just got sent the the picture that, oh, look at this thing. I had glasses then. But yeah, I'm really excited by that, and uh, it's lovely to just be in just be Marty in every game. If if not me, stick Marty in. But I'm looking forward to seeing what uh, what Frank's big announcement is going to be next week as well. Where would I put Isle of Cats in top solo games? I don't know. I have to have my list in front of me. I really think the the solo game is great. I don't know. It would probably like I was thinking of. Like, I, I wouldn't re-rank the solo games. I would probably do, like, a part three. I've already done... It's already won votes enough to be in uh, the two top ten solo games on there now. I don't know if I would stand by all of those. Now, I can't quite remember the list. I think Mage Knight was number one, which was a bit of a fuss at the time because I didn't have Mage Knight. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think I would stand by most of those ones that are in there. I, I can't remember the list. I'll have to, maybe we'll do a part three and see where they all rank stacked up against each other. Because I think part two was made close enough after part one that it was pretty much 11 to 20. Whereas now some things would probably slip in. Like I need to do like a, it says 2019 on Isle of Cats on Board Game Geek. It's 2020, right? Did it get delivered last year or, or is it 2019 and time has just slipped me by again? And so this needs to be put into a, like a 2019 list. Because I'm thinking about updating that 2020 list. I need to kind of update the 2019 list, even though I did it like two years late and, well, a year and a bit late. And, uh, yeah, al already, I think Maracaba would probably be in there. I don't know about Taverns of Tiefenthal. I love it. I'd have to... I'd have to think about the, the ranking of everything again. But if Isle of Cats is 2019... Yeah, Board Game Geek says 2019, but I, I just... I had it in my head for some reason that it got delivered in 2020, but I've just been uh, twiddling my thumbs forgetting about it. And while thinking about streams and seeing Frank's announcement and stuff, I thought, well, I've never, why have I never done... Uh, why, why have I never done Isle of Cats? Uh, and yeah, he's always happy to indulge me in doing videos on his games as as you would be if you like my stuff of course too many bones not mage knights are number two yeah too many bones is fantastic i would really like to do some i'm gonna i'm gonna ask about doing some too many bones stuff in the future because there's cloud spire stuff coming 
So I've got uh, I've got loads for Cloudspire at this point. There's expansion things, there's solo stuff. Calico will be a future stream. I'm not sure how soon, but I absolutely love Calico. We haven't really, I think we've only played once with the final version. So most of our experience was with the prototype. It is so brain burning. Another, another one though that is so kind of deceives you with how simple it is on the surface and then when you actually get into it, oh it is uh, it it melts your brain for such a, a for such a cute game about cats on quilts. Yeah. I am in contact with Shannon. And I will be getting a bit of business portfolio together. I'm not gonna do all that. Say so make some too many boats videos, please. Cause I did make one a what that was a while ago now. Like the the thing about I'm sorry for people watching later that only wanted to see Isle of Cats. This is some waffle ago. That's what live streams are for, right? Um, there. What was I talking about? Yeah, I, I, the thing about five years is that I keep looking back on these things now, thinking, "Oh, I did a playthrough for that not too long ago." Yeah, it's like four years ago, uh, three years ago, when I'm looking at these things. And then there's other times when um, I see games mentioned. I, I saw Skyward coming on a list of games that I'd done, and I had to think to myself, "What was Skyward?" I vaguely remember the cover of it. I don't really remember what happened in it, and that's frightening. I remember liking it, I think. I've got a positive thought about it. But um And Steve Steve mentioned the other day the, the first video he did subtitles for was Noria. I remember it now, as soon as I had the picture of the cover in my mind, but I had to go on board Gengi can look it up just just from the name. It's all slipped my mind. But then again, time time passes and things fade away, but also like I've done like 450 other games that have been like filmed and even more get played and don't end up with videos and stuff. So yeah, the it's just going to happen, isn't it? But yeah, hopefully. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure my Too Many Bones playthrough would have had some mistakes in it. It's, it's, it's just going to happen with so many keywords and things around. That's the, that's the thing with, with playing it live. I'm sure there would be some uh, too many bones aficionados in the chat as there was in the Cloud Spy one that would um, that would sort me out. Yeah, when I when I look on the channel, it's like it's like a thousand videos on the channel. But you've like that sounds like a ridiculous amount, but it's that thousand is when you think of like a standard length playthrough, it's five videos. That's two parts, two static cam parts, and a first impressions. Uh, where is slickerdrips.co.uk? That's a that's a quick way to get to my channel if you like. I, I haven't got a website, but slickerdrips.co.uk takes you there. There are how many videos? It used to say how many videos. But the the staggering thing: three point three million views, which is crazy. How is that even possible? I thought it used to tell me how many videos were on the channel. There's a lot anyway. I tried to download them all. Yeah, it just says all videos selected when you press all videos. I don't know. Yeah, lots lots of things have happened in all of this time. I win 94. Glad you could catch a stream. We're just at the end of it now. But you can rewind and watch it all. And I will be live again at certain points next week. Haven't um, haven't worked out quite when yet. But on Monday, it'll get posted to all the places when I'm going to be live. Yeah, there's a there's a crazy amount of footage that I've filmed over this time. Experience with solo rules mistakes bothers you. Yeah, I think like partly because of doing all of these videos and I do make a lot of mistakes. Steve can testify to that, even mistakes that you don't end up seeing. Uh and in the end, like I I used to I used to be really uh, like the, when I started talking about in that top 10 when I did those videos on Scythe and stuff uh, that was like the 10th video I'd made it was like the first video that suddenly people started watching that like the it probably wasn't that many people but in terms of when no one had seen the channel before suddenly views started shooting up I was on holiday and didn't have proper internet and all of these comments were coming up of this thing is wrong and back then you had to do like annotations 
we hadn't thought well rado hadn't thought of the subtitles thing he thought of that because youtube turned off the annotations you used to be able to put writing over the top of videos when you'd made a mistake and i couldn't do that and i was all i was so panicked about it that people were going to watch this video and it was going to be wrong and things were going to be all terrible fast forward years later made countless mistakes some people get frustrated by it generally people like to people that know the game will point it out most people are very very nice about it it's only a tiny minority that uh, get angry that there are mistakes in it or feel that they're unwatchable don't really matter does it as long as it's uh, I think I said all of this the other day but yeah as long as long as it gets the feel of the game across I'm, I'm not too fussed and like when you make mistakes in like say the Mage Knight playthrough maybe if like maybe if I hadn't made one of those mistakes. The whole game would have been different, and the score would have been completely different. But you know, I, I'm not. I'm not competing in a competition or anything. I'm not trying to get across that I'm particularly good at a game. I'm not really bothered if that score doesn't end up matter because it doesn't matter anyway, does it? Really, it's just. Uh, it's. It's all about the journey. Red Rising solo video, maybe. Hopefully, I. I, I don't know if. Um, I don't know if the. I know that. Champions got Red Rising copies, and like the the early channel review copies, I don't I don't get those anymore. You know where there's like ten people that get it really early before the pre-orders even. I'm not sure if like the standard review copies have gone out to everyone. I haven't been keeping an eye on it. It sounds cool. I've got on my to read list. I've got the I've got the book. I had them before I bought them in a great big spate of book buying before even the lockdown happened uh, last year but I've never got round to them still so I'd like to ho hopefully that'll get covered at some point I don't know if a copy's on the way to me or not but hopefully yeah chip theory are very 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 nice and that's great music taste I've only met her the once in uh, the last essence that there was but she was lovely to me an actual real book I do read on my Kindle a lot as well but yeah, actual, actual paper. Actual trees suffered for this book to exist. So I think... Yeah, that's, that's probably about the same time that I started getting sent things like... With a channel... Like so, someone was emailing me about starting a channel uh, yesterday. And yeah, you just, you just got to do it off your own back, off your own games to begin with. And it just kind of starts happening organically. It's I, I never I never knew when to start emailing people, uh, without seeming presumptuous. But I think the idea is just you do it, and if uh, if people do think that you're too small or something at the time, you just won't get the thing. There's there's no harm in asking, and if there is harm in asking with that person, eh, maybe maybe it wasn't it's not worth bothering in future. But no one was like that with me, usually, and and people like it's gotten a lot different now. It's gotten a lot better, I think, but. Uh, the 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 worst that you'll usually get rather than a no is just silence but i don't think you would get that as much anymore there's a lot more uh marketing people at companies now that are just handling all of that which is lovely to mark swanson this is a one-man show he's super nice as well generally all of these people like the I suppose people in big asthma day companies, there aren't, there isn't really like as much of a face of those. Although I'm sure there is if you're more into their games. Maybe it's just because I know all of the, you know, I don't know them personally, particularly. I don't know Jamie Stegmaier at all, personally. But, you know, he is the face of that company. I've met Frank a few times. He uh, is a lovely guy. But yeah, those smaller companies, they're like the faces of it, aren't they? They are the representative of that company. And while there probably are a few, like... They represent all of that. Yes, he's got massive enthusiasm, Frank. Always such a positive guy. So I think we should stop there. It's it stopped being a <laughs> a quick stream, but I enjoy having a chat afterwards. Uh, I am going to uh, well, it's time for Maracaibo to go live. I think soon, and then I should do. Th I should I should spend a night uh, not streaming a game. But thank you very much for joining me for all of the streams this week and for all of the times over the last five years. I'll stop mentioning the anniversary at some point soon. 
I think it's cool though. Thank you very much for being here. Hope that I'll see you soon. I forgot to say Patreon the entire time. If you're watching it back, give us a like, comment, the YouTube-y things I'm meant to say to you. But you know about all of that already, don't you? Patreon.com forward slash Slicker Drips is how all of this happens. And it would be great if you can help me make more of it. Thank you, everyone. I will see you soon. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye, everyone. Wasn't ready with the button. I'm coming back. That's wrong. Right. I'm coming back. Hello. I've got to get the up to the minute credits on. So some credits are going to start again, which isn't ideal, but I can't do anything about that. Because as soon as I click on it, you're going to see it. But there's some, there's some newer credits with uh, new patrons on who deserve their day in the sun, and they're going to get it. Bear with me.